Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video we're going to talk about types of friends. We all have types of friends, we all have different types of friends. But before we get started I'm going to take a sip of my Dr. Pepper because Dr. Pepper is good. Alright, so the first type of friend is the leech. I don't know if you have a friend like this or not but um, the leech is like a friend. Say that um, we have a party to go to and the leech friend is like, can I get a ride with you? And it's not like they live like next door to you or down the road from you. They live like 10 to 20 miles away from you. And they're like, can I get a ride with you? And so they want you to come all the way this way, 10, 20 miles to pick them up. When the party is the opposite direction, 10 to 20 miles. So you're going like 20 this way, 20 this way. So you're going 20 out of the way. And um, they're like, come on, come on. You, I need to get a ride with you. I need to get a ride with you. And um, you're kind of like, I don't think so. Because you're, you're going to make me go 20 miles out of the way. And you don't want to offer me no money. You just want a free ride. And... You're going to ask me, your friend, because you don't want to pay no one. And you think that your friend, you, don't have to, you, don't, you think you don't have to pay them. But you do. You do. If they have to go 10 miles out of the way to pay you, they got, you got to pay them, okay? But if they live near you, like a mile away from you or whatever, that's fine. That, go pick them up. Go pick that friend up. Um, and they're like... Or they're like, can I borrow you dub? Do you know what dub is? Okay, if you don't know what dub is, dub is $20. So a leech friend also be like, can I borrow you dub? Or can I borrow $20 from you? And they're like, I will pay you back, I'll pay you back. But they never pay you back. Because they're a leech and they will just suck. They will just suck at you, suck at you, suck at you until you give in. But you got to stay strong and don't let the leech suck you. Don't let the leech friend suck you out. And don't fall for their, their tricks. And if you, go, if you have to pick them up and they live that far away, you need to be the taxi and they need to pay you. Okay, number two is the fake friends. And I know we all got some, some of these friends because you can obviously tell who they are. But number two is called the fake friends. And they're the ones who promise you that they won't tell anybody what you tell them. I mean, sometimes it's okay to tell people, but most of the time, no. Like if it's something very important that they don't want no one to know, you better keep that a secret. You better keep that ish in your head, okay? So, but the fake friends, they tell, they tell everybody, anybody, whatever. They tell them whatever you tell them not to tell. And so they just go rumor about you. They just do all this bad stuff that friends are not supposed to do. And then you know they've done it and you confront them and they're like, No, I didn't. You're lying. Or whoever told you is lying. But no. No. They've they done it. They've done it. They know they've done it because they get mad at you when you confront them. Or um, you text them or you call them and their phone rings and rings and rings and you know your text message went through but you never hear back from them. You never get a text message back from them. But you know they look at your text message because your phone tells you. So you know they've seen it. But they never return your calls and they never text you back. And you're like, did I contact the wrong friend? Because obviously you're not responding. But I know you did. And, um, they're just like, they don't want, I don't know, they don't want to talk to you unless they need something, and that's a fake friend, but I don't know what's wrong with them people, they just want to do whatever, whatever they want to do, and, um, they, or, oh, a good one, a good one about a fake friend, they make a tweet or a post on Facebook or Twitter about you. But they don't want to tag you in it because they're talking horrible about you. They're talking trash about you. They're just talking all these lies about you. But you know it's about you because it's something that you told them not to tell someone. So they go take it to social media and they want to tell it on social media. But they want to switch it around. But you know it's about them. And you confront them about it. And they're like, no, that's not about you. You need to chill out. You need to la 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 whatever. But you know that ish that they posted on Facebook is about you. So that's fake friends. Do not hang out with fake friends. Just get rid of them already because they're fake. They're like plastic. Eventually they're going to melt. So just get rid of them. 
All right, so number three is the special guest friend. And it's the type of friend that you never get to see and you know nothing about, like, because you never see them, you never talk to them, so you know nothing about them. And, um, but when you do see them or hear from them, your heart's like, it grows, like, from this to, like, bam! And, um, you're so happy and you just get very excited. And they're the type of friend that when you need something, they're there for you. And when they need something, you're there for them. Because they have a special place in your heart. And even though you don't talk to them or don't see them a lot, you know it's a real friendship because you're always there for each other. And you're just like one phone, one phone call away and you know you're going to be there for each other. So that's a special guest friend. And that's a good friend. Alright, number four. The type of friend is called the Tard. And why are they called Tard? Because they are the friend who is always late. Doesn't matter what it is, they're always late. They, they're even late for their own funeral. That's how they are. And I don't know, how can someone do that? Because when I have an appointment to go to, or I have somewhere that I gotta be, I'm on time. Actually, I'm like 15 minutes early, always. But there's a friend who's always late, and they're like, don't start the party till I get there. Um, you should've got here a long time ago because the party's already started with you or without you. The party's starting. So, if you have one of them, if you have the TARD friend, you just go ahead and start your party without them because they're going to be late. doesn't matter. They're going to be late for their own funeral. So everybody's going to be at their funeral and they're going to be like, where's, where's TARD? He's late. She's late. Yeah, that's the TARD friend. Alright, so number five is the half friend. And I know that every single one of us and every single one of you has a friend like this or have had a friend like this. But the half friend is your best friend, like the best friend you have. And they get into a relationship and they don't know how to function without their other half. And you're like, I thought we were best friends, but now you only have half a friend. So now you have like either a best or you have a friend. You don't have a best friend anymore because their other half is like, bam, they're like connected to them and they control, they control their life. And it's, it's, it's crazy. And they can't function without them. And say that you and your friend, well, your best friend, have like some event to go to together. And um, so you go into the event and you're with them and they're on the phone with their other half. And you're like, you are so annoying. You're supposed to be hanging out with me. Not your other half. That's why you're with me and not the other person at the time. When you get home, or when you get somewhere where you're not with me, you can be with your other half, okay? But, so they're on the phone with them, and you're like, you're annoying, get off the phone, and you're like, if you don't get off the phone, I'm about to punch you in your face. Because they're annoying, they're getting on your nerves, because they're more worried about their other half, who they're not with at the time, than they are with you, who they're supposed to be spending time with at this event. And you're like, I'm gonna punch you so hard in your relationship, that it's going to change and your partner's going to feel it and they just make you so mad and I'm getting mad talking about it so we're not going to talk about this friend anymore but that's the half friend all right friend number six is called the parent friend and I don't know if we all have friends like this but I know that some people do and the parent friend is the friend who's supposed to be your friend or your best friend and they're so busy being your parent and not your friend that they're getting on your nerves and you don't want to be friends with them anymore, anymore because they're like, did you do this? Did you do that? Did you do this? Did you do that? What time are you going to do this? What time are you going to do that? What time are you going to be back? What are you doing? Where are you at? And you're like, you're not my parent. So get off my butt cheek and be my friend. But they're always up in your business and they're always telling you what to do. They ask you, did you do this? Did you do that? And they're so annoying that you want to punch them like the other friend who was in the relationship. So, these are two annoying friends that you have right here. Alright, friend number seven is called the speakerphone. And they're the ones who are so loud that China can hear them all the way from where you're at. And that's across the ocean. That means they're extremely loud. 
and they have no mute button whatsoever, and they don't know that they are that loud, and you tell them that they're loud, and they just get louder and louder and louder. And you have them over at your house, and you tell them that your parents are sleeping, or whoever you live with, you tell them that they're sleeping, and they're like, I can't hear you, I need a drink. And you're like, are you serious right now? Because I just told you that someone is sleeping and you want to ask me for a drink. What is your problem? Get out of my house. And what do they think this is? Loud time? Or what do they, what do you think? They can't hear, people can't hear them? Because obviously people can hear them because China can hear them already. And you have to like, cover their mouth because they're so freaking loud and I just don't know what to do with these people because they're so loud they don't have a mute button if you need someone to yell at someone that's the type of friend you need you need that friend alright friend number eight is called the helpless friend and it's a friend who always asks all the questions of what to do like am I your like Am I your counselor or what? Because I'm your counselor, you need to be paying me. Paying me some cash, paying me good money, because I have to deal with all your crap. Questions are good, but not constantly questions every single minute that they're with you. And you give them great advice when they start asking you, but they do the opposite of what you tell them. So while they want to ask you, you give them your precious time advice, and they're not paying you because... I don't know why, but then they do what you tell them not to do. And you're like, why are you wasting my time? Because you ask for advice, I tell you, then you do the opposite. So what are you doing with me? Why are you wasting my time? You need to get over yourself, and you need to do what I tell you, because I'm your counselor. All right, friend number nine is called the insta-love, and it's the friends who you meet for the first time at like a get together at a party at a friend's house and they're like already in love with you and you're leaving and you say bye to everyone and they're like no wait let's hug this out because I love you and I'm like how do you love me you know nothing about me and you just don't know me, and you tell me you love me, and then as soon as you get home, you look at on your Facebook, and you have a friend request from them, and you're like, you love me, you've met me for five minutes, you love me, and you want to give me a hug instead of saying bye, and you don't even know me, you want to be best friends with me, and you don't even know me yet, and you send me a friend request, and you text me, and I text you back, and then you won't answer me. So what, thinks you, what makes you think I'm going to answer your friend request when you don't answer my text back? And when you automatically fall in love with me? Because you are insane. Alright, number 10 is the instigator. And I think we all have friends like this because they, I don't know, everybody has friends like this. But it's the friend who knows how to convince you to hang out with them for like 60 minutes, which is like one hour. But somehow, 60 minutes went by, and 7 hours later, you're still with them, but you had important stuff to do before you hung out with them. So 60 minutes turned into 7 hours, and somehow they convinced you to stay with them that long, or something, and you're like, what happened to the 60 minutes? Where did they go? Because I had stuff to do. And they are the instigator who um, you hang out with and like time, like you lose time, but they do bad things and they get in trouble. And if you're not careful, you will get in trouble with them because the things they do, you're with them. And because you're with them, even if you didn't do what they done, you're in trouble because you're with them. So you need to be careful with the instigators because they'll get you in trouble and they'll instigate you and make you do anything that you don't want to do. So I'll be careful with them friends or Maybe not have them at all. So just be careful with them and be very cautious around them. Alright, number 11 and the last friend 
It's called the Cray Cray Friend. And these friends are like psychotic because they tell you things and they're, you're like, are you insane? But they complain to you. Like they tell you stupid, crazy, insane things that they do or stuff that pops up in their head and you're like, you're psychotic and you're insane. But I still love you. And they complain to you and they're complaining to you about stuff that happened to them but it's their fault because they're insane. And you're like, are you a lunatic? What do you think this is? The Joker and Harley? Because we are not, we are not in that type of a friend relationship because you're insane and I'm just a little bit insane, but you're totally like insane and you're being like a hospital. That's how insane you are. And but you still help them, you still listen to them, you're still their friend because you love them and that you're they are your friend. They're just a little little off in the brain. Like they kinda like lost half of it. Or they don't think. But they're psychotic and they're insane. Insane in the membrane. And but you still love them. So anyway, that's the type of friends. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up. And I will do more videos like this. And I'll do types of whatever you want me to do. You just have to comment, tell me like types of in the comment section. And I'll do a video on it. Or any video you want to see, we'll do it. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. And if you're coming back to my channel, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure the notifications are turned on for you'll get a notif for you'll get notified when I post a new video. And thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy this and I'll see you later. Alright, bye.